<laughs> we gotta lighten this up just a little bit. Let's get to our game show. Just a little bit because uh, <laughs> our game show continues the conversation a little bit. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. So, <laughs> it's only the two of you going <laughs> going head to head today. <laughs> but basically, we're playing. <laughs> I don't want to call it abortion trivia, but we're going to like an abortion trivia. <laughs> we're going to say pro, pro-choice pro trivia. That's what we're going to call it. All right. So pro-choice hey. trivia. This quiz is created by the ACLU. The way it works, we'll go around Robin style. If you get the correct answer, you get a point. Whoever collects the most points gets the final thought for the show. Uh, Mike Winter, just one comment. Mike Winter says, check out the Pottstown Rumble finals online after the show. All right. We'll do that. All right. So, again, ACLU, final thought for the show if you get the most points. <laughs> Start with Gianni. Which state was the first to legalize abortion? Alaska, Hawaii, New York, Washington, or all of the above? Ooh, Was- Ooh New York. You know, New York? Yeah. That is incorrect. Incorrect. Hawaii became the first state to legalize abortion in 1970, though the law only applied to residents of the state. Later that year, New York legalized abortion. So you were close for both residents of the state as well as residents of other states. Alaska and Washington followed in addition to Washington, D.C. Okay. All right, Robbie, true or false? Roe v. Wade was the force abortion first abortion case to reach the Supreme Court. I gotta say false. False. That is correct. United States versus Vutic. Vutic. Vutic was the first case about abortion to reach the Supreme Court. ACLU general counsel argued the case in which a doctor challenged the constitutionality of a District of Columbia law permitting abortion only to preserve a woman's life or health. Mm. All right. Robbie's in the lead. All right. (laughs) Johnny Storm. Roughly how many anti-abortion restrictions have state legislatures passed since Roe v. Wade? 55, 300, 896, or 1,300? That is such a specific question. God, I'm going to say 800. 800, 896? Yeah. That is incorrect. Oh, 1,300. Wow. Way off. All right. Since Roe v. Wade was decided in 1973, more than 1,300 restrictions have been passed by state legislatures across 47 states. Though many have been blocked by courts, too many have gone into effect and created unnecessary barriers to abortion, including laws that prevent people from using their insurance to pay for an abortion, force clinics to shut down, and ban abortions as early as six weeks into pregnancy which is approximately two weeks after a missed period. All of these laws push abortion further and further out, reaching out of reach and mean that the right to an abortion is a right in name only for too many people. All right, Robbie, in what ways are states trying to force people to remain pregnant? Prohibiting the use of insurance for abortion, passing medically unnecessary restrictions, forcing patients to make unnecessary trips to the clinic, banning abortion completely, or all of the above. All of them. Oh. All, of them. <laughs> All of the above. That's correct. <laughs> She's about to get an easy one. Forced pregnancy laws take many different forms and very diff- significantly across states. They include prohibiting the use of insurance for abortion, making it unaffordable for those struggling to make ends meet, passing medically unnecessary restrictions that are impossible to comply with, and shut clinics down, forcing patients to make extra unnecessary clips, trips to the clinic. All right. Next question. Gianni, which state has an abortion case at the Supreme Court this term? Is it Mississippi, Kentucky, Texas, or all of the above? Oh, crap. Um, Texas. They're famous for something. Texas. <laughs> I think it's all of the above. All of the above. Mississippi and Kentucky were. <laughs> Right, the Supreme Court, Supreme Court kicked off the term by hearing oral arguments in October in a case where by the ACLU that will determine whether Kentucky politicians can continue attempts to ban a standard abortion procedure. 
shortly after those arguments, uh, Texas, and then both these arguments came in the shadow of a challenge to a Mississippi abortion. And that's the one. Okay. That has just been decided. All right. All right. What would happen, this is Rob B., what would happen if the Supreme Court overturns Roe v. Wade? All right. So we know this. About half the states would ban abortion. Politicians would pass even more cruel laws like SB8, Texas's abortion ban. And a nationwide ban on abortion could be passed and signed into law if an anti-abortion Congress and president is elected. President is elected. I'm not too sure about that last one. The first two look good to me as far as correct answers. So I'm going to have to go with all of the above. That is correct. All of the above. So mathematically right. speaking, this is my win. <laughs> my win. Mathematics. <laughs> chances to come up with three right <laughs> So, <laughs> all right. Last one. Last last question. Abortion bans disproportionately impact people who are, Johnny, people, black people, and people of color, low income, LGBTQ plus, or rural, all of the above. All all of the above. That is correct. And Rob B, you officially win the game. <laughs>